Hey there guys, it's Plumore here with another video or new series we're doing on Eastside Hockey Manager where we're taking over the Nottingham Panthers. We're going to be using the, the Blue Line rosters 2017-18 uh, version 10.3 I believe. Uh, we're going to add a few leagues from around the world so in case we want to trade as manager because we're going to be doing this for quite a few years in the game. This one's going to last longer than the last one but we're just going to add leagues like the KHL, the Sweden one, the Swedish leagues on stuff. We add Finnish Liga, just some European leagues. We've added the, uh, the S Switzerland and the DL and the Elite League, ECHL and American Hockey League. But we're going to be starting in the Elite League with the Nottingham Panthers. Seeing how, seeing how uh, strong of a team we can make, we're going to add key staff. And make our manager, but I'm going to be editing out all of the loading times and stuff because they take a while. So, yeah, let's just make up random person, Yeet, Yeeticus. I'm going to be from England because we're managing an English team. And, uh, yeah, random birthday. And then we'll get into it and see how good we do. Um, I prefer Eastside Hockey Manager to the Franchise Hockey Manager games because uh, I just do, the, it's more like realistic whereas Franchise Hockey Manager automatically puts you in like 4 year contracts with players you didn't even sign so yeah let's uh, get started with the Nottingham Panthers on Eastside Hockey Manager please like, comment and subscribe and we're going to be doing this for a while let's do this so, just save it under YouTube, and uh, I've got quite a few games, so I play this game quite a lot. But yeah, I already know the menu and stuff, I'm not gonna go through it, you guys can pause and read all that if you really want to, but it's just explaining like the main office, so I'm just welcoming, it, welcoming us to Panthers and what they expect, and the uh, schedule and the fans opinion on me signing with the Panthers as a general manager um, you will be seeing some changes from this roster and the coaching situation but that's gonna be uh, another thing to do in a bit and we're gonna sign some players in the next episode some new guys I got a few in mind but yeah if you guys got any suggestions then leave them down below remember I can't sign like all the top people because we're the elite league so it's not like the NHL but maybe one day we'll get to the NHL if we get an offer from the right team but hopefully this goes well and we'll see how we can do looking through uh, coaches at the moment but we might keep Corey Nielsen a coach for a while but uh yeah let's do this sorry about that uh, Greg Island nah a lot of these guys are expensive so let's just go into the next days I'm expecting this video to be around 15 minutes long um, Casey Bora is a quality player we're not going to go through all of the players here, but Andy Sertage used to play for Nottingham Panthers. Uh, Daniel Myers did too. We've been approached by Miko Pas Patsy. Uh, who we're not going to sign because we've got three goalies, as you can see. Um, we've been approached by Adrian Holancy, who's just not very good. I know he's only 21 and he can improve, but he's not very good, so I'm not going to sign him. Uh, let's look for few agents. I'm not really going to sign anyone but at the moment. We're going to see how this team pans out. And, uh, yeah, going to look at a few players who uh, I want to sign in the future. Tommy Hughes signs with Pumps. All of these are signed with Pumps in real life, to be honest. But in the game, I'm kind of wanting to sign them. So, Tyler Biggs. Uh, spelt Tyler wrong, my bad, but, yeah, 
I like these are the players I want to bring in and keep here for a while. I want to keep a young team. Uh, they just want to win, basically. I'm just going to scout a few of the players. Alex Guptill. Quite a few of these players are from the AHL, so. No, that's a lie from the ECHL. So, uh, it's a similar standard to the Elite League, the league that Pamps is from, obviously. So, let's see how we can do. See Jane and Wrestling. Sound of Pumps in real life. Big six foot four defender who can fight. Um, yeah. John Rolt. Or John Rowe as he's pronounced. I put Ron accidentally. My bad. But it's, uh, he's a quality player for the Panthers this season. And I'm looking forward to seeing him play more. Um, let's see. Jacob Doty plays in Brayhead at the moment for this game. And I'm hoping to acquire him this season. He's a player I really like to look off. He's only 24. And let's look at Guinea Lapine. See if we can sign Lapine. He's 30, so it'd be nice to keep get him back. There he is, 36 of 4 defence. He's mainly a tough guy in this game. In real life, he's a very good defender. But in this game, his stats aren't that great. But I still like him, so let's see what that's done. Matthew Gagnon's injured. Not for long though, so don't need to don't really need to worry about that. Uh for some reason they've got different numbers than in real life, but I'm not gonna change it. Really can't be bothered to change it, so yeah. You want to see hear about confirmation for future. Fringe player, he'll be happy with that I guess. Brayhead offer for Keith, interesting. Keith's a very good player, played for them for three seasons. In real life, I believe he retired. Um, but he was a very good player for them. A player I would like to see him play for the Panthers, but I was happy with the teams we had to be fair at the time. Uh, Juris Up Uptis from Edinburgh has been made available. Edinburgh don't have a great team, so strange that they make their players available. Don't have much money. Pavel Shalago is a good goalie, to be fair, and he's only 24. Mike Sola is uh, only 26, and he's quality. He got uh, quite quite a lot over a point per game in the ECHL. So that's good stead for our league. And, uh, yeah, let's go through Champions Hockey League, which we're playing in this year. I don't expect to win it at all, so I'm not going to actually watch the games. I just expect to be knocked out in the playoff stages. Fence Rocker. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not going to look in depth for any of them games because I just expect to be knocked out. But, yeah. So, he's a bit expensive, so. I'll look for a coach properly in the next one and see if there's any assistant coaches. I uh Joe Mahoney. Interesting. We should probably try and get him to be honest, but should be interesting. He's in our price range. Mm. Travis Ramsey. And now he's got no tactical knowledge. How much is he worth? Forty. Let's look at uh what's his name again? Joe Mahoney. I think he's not on this page. I can't remember what page he was on. Corey Hirsch is uh, 18k over two years. He'll be a good player. Uh, coach, sorry, assistant coach. If we can get him, we don't really need Joe Mahoy. So let's press OK and continue on with the uh, simulation. I'm just going to change a few things so that I'm actually the general manager, not the coach. Uh, Champions Hockey League. Manchester Storm has signed Chris Fedheim, who plays in the AHL and NHL quite a lot. It's quite a good signing for them. It's a hard working defenseman. An interesting signing, and we won. Uh, 5 2. It's a very good win for the Panthers there. Andreas Sundin, uh, interesting. Mm. I don't think we're signing, but. It's an interesting player, I guess. 
grey head of snapped up Andy Sertage who used to play for the Panthers. It's an interesting sign in there and now we're playing uh, CHL again. And uh, we won in the shootout, that's good again, we won two in a row. So, people are offering for Garnett, but we're not giving up Garnett. Garnett's our main goalie. We want to keep Garnett, Kent Simpson. He's only 25, he's an ECHL and AHL player. He'd be an interesting guy. Uh, playing Cardiff. Hmm. We lost 5-3, but... Oh, well, it's still pre-season, so... It's nothing to worry about, really. Chris Bora has uh, signed in Manchester. He's moved passing defenseman. That's a good signing for them. Richie Crowley doesn't look very good at all. And he's not played at all, and he's 26. That's interesting. Uh, we won't be signing him. Season tickets... Steve McIntyre, he's a well-known tough guy, isn't he? But, uh, yeah. Jerry Martin, his stats are really poor in this game, even though I think he's one of the best players in the league in real life. Stats are pretty poor. I uh, Drew Paris, his stats are much better. But, I'm, I'm not interested in Paris, just... Scouts were impressed by him. It's Peacock, he's played a lot of games in the early league. Got a lot of points too. Now for the guy we wanted to see, Jacob Doty, gritty two-way game, power forward, first line p potential. He's only 24, he's 6 foot 3, 220 pounds. I'll be really happy to sign Doty. I'd like to see a big physical team with young players as well, it'd be good to watch. Nottingham versus Sully Hill. Sully Hill, I think that's how you say it. Uh, we beat them, but it wasn't great by us. Should have won easier. Now we've been approached by Sergio Pecura. Sergio Pecura, who looks absolutely terrible. We're not signing him at all. Who's that? Okay. Alright, oh, he's the uh, assistant coach, of course. I forgot. My bad. He looks good. Uh, do we sign him? No. He looks very good. To be fair to him. How much is he worth? 19k. Nah, I don't know. Well, think about it. And we'll see for the next episode. You guys, if you guys want to comment, tell me what to do. Only better with Jim 21 more stats like. Oh, they're terrible. Uh, Brit should have higher stats in this game, British players, but. Oh well. 20. Five year old, sorry, Alex Guptill, Scout Report, Power Forward First Line, five star rating. Power Forward First Line was the same description as uh, Doty, so that'd be interesting. Smooth passing defenseman Tommy Hughes. A uh, player I'm really excited to sign if we can sign him. He's one of my favourite players so far in real life. Uh, he hits really hard in real life, so that's the sort of team I want. Alex Guptill. Fits well, yeah. I really like big physical teams. Here's Gilliam Lapine, the tough guy I was talking about. He was a very good player as well as a tough guy. Um, in this game, his uh, stats are underrated. Like the game is manufactured or developers have underrated them, in my opinion. Jane and Wrestling's a very good player. Only 23 years old, so he'll be a quality player to sign. Poor man Jan Sovey. Interesting. I'm liking the look of wrestling. The fact he's only 23. Yo Sovey thinks he's only 27. Tyler Biggs only 24. Power forward second line. So he's similar to Doty and Guptill again. I'll be happy with them guys. John Rowe is a quality player. Like I said earlier, one of my favourite players at the moment. Okay, so Mark Bennett. AHL, ECHL, mm. Mikhail Tams, 25, AHL, ECHL, interesting, and they've signed Daniel Myers, who has had 400 plus games in the league, he's probably going to be in the Hall of Fame soon, um, 
Now we're playing again in the CHL. We won again in the shootout. That is uh, amazing so far. Really didn't expect to be good. Uh, we're doing this good in the uh, CHL. I think I might have accidentally called it the ECHL earlier, but I meant the CHL. But, um, yeah. Let's see, we've got three goalies, so we should be fine. Season ticket sales. Brayhead, not few in. Ah, we lost. We lost in the shootout, though, so. Jacob Doty scored the guy I'm looking at. Interesting. Second to the Rover, he scored twice, but his stats don't look all that impressive. And, uh,. Yeah, his rating, sorry, not stats, shouldn't call them stats, they're ratings. Uh, commentary offer for Cameron Abney, who is a ECHL mainly player in the recent times. And now we're playing Fife in an exhibition game, so see how this goes. Oh, damn it, 5 0, that's crazy. Oh, my gospel was in goal. I don't know why we didn't play Galbraith to be honest, but gospel was in goal. Uh, just a phase of dying. Ah, yes, uh, so the assistant coach we offered, uh, to give him a contract, he's accepted. So, now we have officially signed him. So that should boost our coaching. I'll probably keep Corey for the rest of the season. We'll make a few changes to the squad in the next episode. Jason Beckett, 37, he hasn't played since he played for Panthers, what's that, five years ago? Five, six years ago, he hasn't played in five, six years, now he's going to Coventry. I got to say it was quality for us when he signed, but that was five, six years ago. And you can't go five, six years without playing hockey and just jump into a pro. Hey guys, go jump in here. Thank you guys for watching. We lose this game. I had to cut the audio because I went over the limit. I accidentally went past the video and missed it. But thank you for watching. Tune in the next episode for some club changes and please subscribe. Peace.